Today we got a story of a spoiled kid who gets so angry that he doesn't win his uh, his class's MVP award that he runs out of class, goes into the bathroom, smashes up all the pipes, and floods the entire school. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy one, so subscribe if you're new and let's jump right into it. So we're gonna call the subscriber who submitted this story, Sebastian. So anyways, in Sebastian's class, there is a spoiled kid, and this is towards the end of the year. And by towards the end of the year, I mean like literally the last week of school. Summer break is on everyone's mind. Most of the big tests, projects, quizzes, whatever. All that stuff is done. This is kind of just like the fun little period at, at the end of school, especially like in middle school, not in college anymore, because in college you have your exams at the very end. But I think at least in middle school, a lot of the times you'll have just like a little week or a couple days at the end of school where it's literally just fun stuff. So anyways, this week was just fun stuff. And one thing that was going down in Sebastian's class was there was like a little fake award ceremony, or I shouldn't say fake, but it's like a little award ceremony or whatever, where the teacher would print out these little, like, I don't know, you know those online certificates that you can go on a website and, like, put someone's name, put what they're winning, and then have, like, whatever? And so the teacher would print these out. They'd have a little award ceremony. Everyone would get an award, but there would be, like, special ones. Like, there would be, like, most improved, which would go to the student who had, like, the most improvement in, like, some subject matter. Um, like most, uh, like least, uh, I don't know. There'd be like other stuff that you'd win most attentive, like someone who is like really engaged in class. Um, another one where it's like, I don't know, best quiz score, or whatever. I don't know, just stuff to like congratulate a few people that were really exceptional in the class. And it was really just for fun and it seriously wasn't a big deal. This wasn't something where all the kids would be like, oh my God, I can't wait to win whatever, right? Well, I should actually amend that because there was one kid who cared way too much about that. And that was the spoiled kid. Because in the spoiled kid's mind, he deserved to win a literally every single award, even though the teacher would always give, would never give students more than one award besides the one that everyone got. So they couldn't get more than, they couldn't be like best quiz score, most improved and most attentive. Those, those would all go to different people. But the spoiled kid was the type that would demand to have all of them. So anyways, we're in class and uh, Sebastian, the spoiled kid and everyone else, they're sitting around. Remember, it's a fun day. It's almost like summer vacation. You can taste the water slides and the laser tag and the chill nights and going out to the movies, you can taste it, bro. Like, it is so close. So everyone in the class has this kind of buzz of excitement. And finally, it's the day where it's the award ceremony. So the teacher's like, hey, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for an incredible year. You all put in so much effort. And I do, like, I, I, I notice it. Like, I notice the effort you guys put in, and I really, really do appreciate it. And the teacher's like, all right, well, um, it's time for, you know, Miss Davenport's uh, annual award ceremony, and she has, like, the, like, the fake award music or whatever that she turns on with her, like, her play, playing on her, like, iPhone or whatever, so it's, like, supposed to be kind of corny and funny or whatever, and not that serious. So the first thing is Ms. Davenport had everyone come to the front of the class to receive their, like, just a good student award, which was the kind of, like, the base level one that everyone in the class got, so, you know, Sebastian went up, the spoiled kid went up, and everyone else in class went up single file line. They received their, like, little certificate. It was a class of, like, 25 people, so it didn't take, like, forever, right? And everyone would clap for everyone, and she had, like, the graduation music going on, which was pretty funny, but, yeah, so everyone went up, and then she's like, all right, well, I also have a few special superlative awards for a few students, and she's like, all right, well, most improved goes to Donovan, everyone clap for Donovan. So right, everyone in the class is just like, remember, super chill, super laid back and super not serious, right? Everyone's clapping except for one individual. That individual is the spoiled kid because oh my God, he didn't receive everything he's ever wanted. Mom, come help me. I want to win everything ever. Like, dude, what? So yeah, sure enough, everyone is pretty happy and clapping for Donovan or whoever won, right? Except the spoiled kid. The spoiled kid gets up and screams, that award should have been mine, which is like everyone stops clapping and freezes because like, I, I don't know, dude, it just really does. Okay, there's no exception. Like you should, there's no time you should ever do that. I don't care if you're Kanye West and you're going up on stage telling Taylor Swift that she shouldn't have won at the actual award ceremonies. And I don't care if you're a spoiled kid saying I should have won all the fake super superlative awards that are just a little piece of paper that my teacher printed out. Either way, you shouldn't be doing that in any circumstance. 
Yeah, so it was really awkward for a second as, like, Sebastian and everyone else in the room was kind of looking. They're, like, uh, they're kind of, like, looking at each other, like, this kid's really going way too far right now, bro. Like, what's going on? This is kind of awkward. This is pretty uncomfortable, right? Stuff like that. And so, yeah, Miss Davenport's like, um, excuse me? And the spoiled kid starts tearing up and runs out of the room. He's like, yeah. And it's just, like, an awkward 20-second silence as everyone's like, Okay, Ms. Davenport's like, um, all right, everyone, clap for Donovan for winning most improved. So everyone just immediately starts clapping and like, it's almost as if they forget that the spoiled kid literally just had a mental breakdown over not winning one of the fake super superlative awards or whatever, dude. Like, it's like, it's seriously not that big of a deal, but of course, of course, the spoiled kid would care way too much about something like that. So yeah, a- a- anyways, um... They completely forget about that. They go through all the other awards. Um, apparently, like, the Spoiled Kid was actually going to win one of the awards, and Ms. Davenport's like, well, Spoiled Kid was supposed to win this one, but let me, and she takes out, her uh, like, a pen, crosses out his name, and writes someone else's name, because, one, it's not that deep, who cares? And two, he wasn't there to win the award. And uh, he probably shouldn't have won the award anyways after screaming, I should have won the other award when someone else won it. Like, dude, not that serious. Who cares? right? But yeah, so Sebastian has to go to the bathroom. He has to take a whiz, right? So he raises his hand, says, hey, can I go to the bathroom? Miss Davenport's like, sure. So he gets up and he walks over to the bathroom, walks into the bathroom, opens the door, and in front of him is this spoiled kid with uh, a literally a metal pipe. Bang, 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 bang. He is banging on the pipes in the bathroom with another metal pipe or metal rod that he found. And Sebastian just like, opens the door and just freezes for a second because he's like, uh, dude, uh, hello, hello, sir. Like, what's going on right now? And the spoiled kid looks up at him and is like, Sebastian, come help me do this. And Sebastian's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm trying to flood the school. And Sebastian's like, bro, what? Like, <laughs> huh? Like, w- why? He's like, this school is the worst, bro. It's like, I mean, you agree with me, dude. I should have won that award. And Sebastian's like, dude, you won a different award, but when you were gone, like, you know, Ms. Davenport was going to give an award to you, dude. Like, you were actually going to win a real award, but, you know, you kind of ran out of the class before she could give it to you. And the spoiled kid's like, well, I'm glad she was a little right, but I should have won all the awards, dude, don't you think? And Sebastian's just looking at him. He doesn't... Sebastian doesn't totally know how to respond at this point because he's like, in his head, he's like... Uh, no, but I also don't necessarily see the, I don't see what the gain I would get in saying no and trying to argue with this kid, who's very clearly not going to pay attention to anything Sebastian says. There's just nothing to gain from arguing with the spoiled kid in this situation. It just doesn't make a lot of sense, in my opinion. So yeah, Sebastian's like, sure, dude, I guess. And then the spoiled kid's like, so excellent. So will you then help me destroy the school by flooding it? And Sebastian's like, dude, I really don't think that's a good idea. If you seriously have an issue with how Miss Davenport gave out the awards, which, bro, by the way, they're not really that big of a deal, but if you seriously have an issue with it, um, maybe you should go to Miss Davenport and talk to her instead of deciding to run off to the bathroom after being so mad that you didn't win an award in a class, right, that you decide to flood the entire school. Like, remember our teacher last year? Like, you know, I mean... Miss McCallum, like, she was, she was pretty cool. And he's like, spoiled kids, yeah, I guess. But Miss Davenport has ruined the school, so I must teach her a lesson. He goes, bang, bang, bang. He just goes back to banging on the pipes, right? Goes back to banging on the pipes, trying to break into the, the school pipes to flood the entire school, right? And at this point, um, so Sebastian is thinking to himself, okay, I should really do something about this. Because the spoiled kid, even though, I don't know, He's not some genius mechanic, and he's also not the strongest man in the world. There's a decent chance if he just keeps banging as hard as he's banging with the metal pipe onto the pipe system, there's a decent chance that he might actually, like, flood the school. Like, he might actually get away with it, and, like, he might actually break into it. So Sebastian in his head is like, okay, I should probably do something about this, right? So Sebastian's like, bro, I'm going to ask you to stop doing that. And the spoiled kid looks up at him and says, or what, dude? Like, I'm saying you should help me because it's, like, a good cause. And Sebastian in his head is like, a good cause, bro? You're banging on the pipes because you're mad. <laughs> like, how is that a good cause? 
But anyways, right, Sebastian's like, okay, um, look, I'm going to go get, like, I'm going to go get a teacher if you don't stop right now. So the spoiled kid looks up at him and says, wow, Sebastian, I didn't know you were so for the establishment like that. I didn't know that you liked the, the establishment and you were for unfairness. And Sebastian's like, dude, what do you mean? I'm not for unfairness. I'm, I'm, I'm just against you flooding the entire school because you disagree with an opinion. And at this point, the spoiled kid's like, an opinion? It was basically a fact that I should have won all the awards. Like, don't you agree? And Sebastian's like, no, dude. He's like, but you said you agreed earlier. And Sebastian's like, yeah, because it was easier for me to say yes that I agreed with such a stupid statement that you should have won all the awards. Ms. Davenport, look, bro, Ms. Davenport never gives all the awards to one kid. That never happens. Even if she thinks they should all win the award, which, like, yeah, if I'm a teacher and I'm, I'm doing, like, a little dinky award ceremony, yes, I want to give the awards to people who deserve them. But I also want to give them to as many people as possible. Like, it just wouldn't be a fun time for literally everyone else if one kid won every single award. Also, how can you win most improved and also win best average quiz score? There is no way that those two things are going to be in the same category. Most improved implies that you weren't doing well at one point, which also would make it very difficult to have the best average score, you know what I mean? Unless literally everyone had 60s and then you went from 60 to 100, but that's just not how it works, right? So, you know, after trying to be logical with the spoiled kid, the spoiled kid's like, fine, go get a teacher. There's a good chance I'll flood the entire school by the time you come back. So with this, Sebastian's like, oh, shoot, I got to get on with it then. Yeah, so uh, Sebastian quickly is like, okay. He gets up. He kind of like runs over to the principal's office. There is a faculty member there. He's like, I don't know how to explain this, but there's a kid in the guy's bathroom. He's banging on the pipes because he's trying to flood the school because he's mad about not winning an award. And the teacher kind of looks at him or the faculty member kind of looks at him with a really strange look. Kind of like, are you sure you're telling the truth right now? Like, are you positive that this is a real thing and not just something that you made up? Because it really does sound like something you just made up. But either way, the faculty member's like, okay, like, I'm going to take this seriously. So they get, like, another faculty member, because this was, like, a girl faculty member, so they got a guy faculty member so he could actually go into the bathroom and it wouldn't be too weird. So anyways, they're, all three of them are now running towards the bathroom. And, you know, the spoiled kid is supposedly in there banging away on the pipes, trying to flood the entire school. And Sebastian's like, come on, we have to go quick. We have to go really quick. So they go in there, they open the door, and no one was in there. There were exposed pipes, but that was always the case. And maybe they looked a little dented up, but, you know, since they're exposed in the first place, they're kind of always kind of dented up. But you know who wasn't there? The spoiled kid. You know what also wasn't there? The, the metal rod he was using to bang against the pipes. So Sebastian's like, I, I swear, he was in here. And, like, the faculty member kind of looks at the girl faculty member, and then they, they look at each other, and then they both look at Sebastian. They're like, Sebastian... Are you sure you're telling the truth here? Sebastian's like, I'm sure. Like, why would I want to lie to you? Like, what, what? it would make no sense for me to make up a story about some kid who wants to flood the entire school. Like, why, why, how would I, be, like, how would I benefit from that? And the faculty members are like, we've heard, like, kids make up stuff for attention more often than you think, right? It doesn't always make sense, but attention's attention. And by the looks of it, you know, it looks like there's no kid in here banging on the pipes, trying to flood the school just because he didn't win the thing he wanted to. So at this point, Sebastian's like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I was telling the truth, but I guess he isn't here now. And Sebastian's like, well, I did tell him I was going to get faculty member. And so maybe he ran off thinking you guys were coming. And they're like, well, uh, we don't really believe that, but whatever, just go back to class. So Sebastian, feeling a little defeated, but also a little bit confused, decides to go back to class. And at this point, he's kind of expecting that the spoiled kid will be back in class at this point, because, in, like, where is he going to be? I mean, if he's not in the bathroom, he's probably going to be back in class. But Sebastian enters his class, and uh, the spoiled kid is nowhere to be seen. Yeah, so the spoiled kid, nowhere to be seen in the class. Uh, Sebastian's like, oh, so he didn't come back. Sits down. Um, the teacher kind of gives him a weird look because, you know, he asked to go to the bathroom and he was gone for like 25 minutes. And, but the teacher, look, it was like the last couple days. It was like, it was chill. It was low key. The teacher might have been a little confused what he was up to, but also who cares? Like, 
Teacher wasn't going to try and instigate anything, whatever. So things go on, whatever, life continues. And uh, let me switch POVs for a second. Now I'm switching POVs to the spoiled kid. So basically, right, I got this information. Sebastian says that bits and pieces from like context clues and other people and a lot of other stuff has come together so we can have the POV of the spoiled kid. So the spoiled kid, he was in the bathroom when Sebastian ran off to say, I'm gonna go get a teacher. The spoiled kid must have been like, oh, well, I mean, I'm not trying to get caught trying to flood the school, right? <laughs> I'm just not trying to do that, right? So he must have gotten up, left the bathroom, but instead of going back to class, he just went into the boys' locker room and hid. The only reason that we know that is because another kid, a friend of Sebastian, went into the boys' locker room to get something out of his backpack and saw the spoiled kid hiding there, and he wasn't just, like, standing in the locker room because that wouldn't have been weird. The spoiled kid was literally in his locker, like, squeezed himself into his locker to hide. So the kid, we're going to call this guy Ben, goes over to him and says, bro, are you good? And he's like, I'm hiding from the ops. <laughs> Which, like, bro, the ops? Are you, what? You mean the teacher who's trying to stop you from flooding the school? So Ben's like, dude, what? Like, what are you saying right now? And he's like, I'm, I said, I'm hiding from my ops, which are the teachers, because I'm going to go and flood the school. And Ben's like, dude, what? Like, what are you saying right now? He's like, I'm going to flood the school because they're super unfair to me. I should have gotten a really good grade. Or not grade. I should have I should have won all the awards, but I didn't. So they're going to pay the price, and I'm going to flood the school. And the thing is, Ben did not take this kid seriously at all, which, in retrospect, he probably should have because uh, <laughs> he, may or may not have, he may or may not have flooded the entire school. But anyways, um, yeah, sure enough, he's like, uh, dude, what? Like, what are you saying right now? Like, you're not making a lot of sense. And, and the spoiled kid's like, you heard me. I'm going to flood the entire school because I did not win every award. And Ben's like, okay, well, I don't believe you, but also don't do that. That'd be stupid. Ben leaves the locker room at this point. So the spoiled kid stays in his little locker for a little bit. Stays in his locker. Locker. Locker is the secret word of the day. So if you made it this far into the video, which is like 17, 18 minutes in, so not that many people will make it this far, comment locker down below so you can see how many people made it this far and to prove that you made it this far. And also, while you're in the comment section, check out the pinned comment, because in the pinned comment, there's a link to the Spotify page, which is where you can listen to these stories. And also, my two other channels that I will be posting daily, if not semi-daily on, I have a meme channel, and I also have a Reddit story channel. So stories from Reddit and also reactions to memes. Please subscribe to both those channels with notifications on, and let's get back to the story. So yeah, sure enough, the spoiled kid, at this point, leaves his locker. And he leaves his locker with the metal rod slash pipe that he was banging on the pipes with. So he goes back into the bathroom, and he kind of looks both ways, because he sneaks back in, and no one's in there. He goes back, and the pipes at this point, it was really hard when uh, Sebastian and the two faculty members walked into the bathroom. It was really difficult for them to tell, because the pipes looked normal. But the truth was, the structural integrity of these pipes... They were on very thin ice at this point. Like, they were really brittle because the spoiled kid had been banging on them again and again and again. And apparently, like, the people who constructed the school did not do a good enough job, especially if a spoiled kid can break down through the pipes just by banging on them. But they were basically two to three bangs away from completely sliding off and... Right. So anyways, the spoiled kid goes up there, goes bang, bang, bang. And on the third bang, the pipes, like, the, like, the, the, two, like, the section where the two pipes connect slips and water starts pouring out. And by pour, I mean flooding out. Such an intense, it's like, you know, those fire hose streams, almost at the intensity of like a fire hose stream. So water starts pouring out and the spoiled kid's like, uh-oh. Cause I think, I don't know. I think the spoiled kid was just super mad and he was just like angry. And he was just like, oh, like, I, I, I don't know. Like I'm gonna flood the school out of anger, right? But in reality, I don't think the spoiled kid really like really wanted to do it. Like, I don't think the spoiled kid really wanted to flood the school because, I don't know, man, there would be pretty big consequences for this. So the spoiled kid sees this and is like, oh, oh, crap. So he gets up and he runs out of the bathroom. And uh, here's the thing. The water keeps pouring. So the water keeps flooding out. And uh, so the, their school, Sebastian, the spoiled kid, like their school is broken up into several different buildings. So this building specifically is not that big. This building is for like... 
fourth, fifth, sixth graders, which they were in that area right there. I think they were fifth graders or something. And there was different buildings for different quads of individuals. So you guys might be thinking, how could the entire school flood if it's like so big? This building was not that big. So immediately, right, water starts rushing out of the bathroom, rushing out from under the door. And the spoiled kid runs back into class. And he sits down, and the class is almost over at this point. So Ms. Davenport kind of looks at him like, um, hello, sir, where have you been? Because you have not been in the bathroom for like an hour at this point. But yeah, um, so he kind of just sits down, and he's just kind of like, I, I don't know, Sebastian looks at him. And he sees the spoiled kid is like almost in a mode of like panic slash freaking out. This kid has this super distressed look on his face. And that's when Sebastian starts to put two and two together that the spoiled kid must have actually done something. Like, why else would this kid look so freaked out? Like, why would this kid look so on edge right now if he didn't just do something that he shouldn't have done? So in Sebastian's head, he's like, wait a minute. Did he actually, like, break a pipe or something? But in Sebastian's mind, if you were to break a pipe, it might, like, dribble out a little bit, but... Sebastian was not aware of, like, how strong the water pressure was in this building. So that's when, right, like, 30 seconds after the spoiled kid sits down and looks all distressed, there's, on the loudspeaker, there is a, attention teachers, like, we need you, like, to get all of your students outside to make sure that they're all accounted for. Single file line, this is not a fire drill, however, we need you to act as if it's a fire drill. So the teacher's like, oh, um, okay, hi class, like, I know we only have two minutes left, but, uh, Looks like we're going outside. So they all get in a single file line and they start walking towards the door. And so there are two doors and there's like one at one side of the building and a door at the other side of the building. So they're walking towards, let's just say the left side. Let's say that there's a left, uh, let's say there's a north and a south exit, right? So they're, they're going towards the north exit. And uh, that's when they start getting towards the door and they start to see like a flood, a, 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 like a rushing wave of water approaching them. And like, they were like, oh my God. And the teacher's like, um, and that's when on the loudspeakers, like attention teachers, make sure that you do not use the north exit. Make sure you only use the south exit. And that's when the teacher's like, oh shoot. So that's when Sebastian realizes that yes, the spoiled kid did successfully flood the school, and that the water is coming right towards them. Okay, this is not a tsunami 17,000 foot wave type deal, but this is like rushing water. Like it's, it's not anything too crazy, but it's coming towards them. And it's like a couple inches, but bro, I don't know. It's like, it's a couple inches of the water rushing at you. So anyways, the teacher's like, all right, class, we're going to go towards the south exit. So they start walking in a single file line. And the whole time Sebastian looks back at him or looks, looks back and he sees like water pouring everywhere. And that's when he gets a glimpse very far at the end towards the north of like where the, of where the bathroom is. And he sees water pouring out from underneath the bathroom door. And that's when he realizes he was right. The spoiled kid did break the pipe and that, the, I don't know, they probably should have listened to him. So anyways, they walk outside the south exit and uh, sure enough, there's like, a, okay, so there's a big field behind the school and all the classes and all the teachers are lined up behind the school. And so they're all lined up there. And uh, so anyways, at this point, uh, you know, they're all lined up, they're all waiting there. And that's when the two faculty members that Sebastian found like earlier to say, this kid's gonna flood the school, walk up to him and say, we need you to come with us. So Sebastian goes up with them and they're like, oh, so do you know anything about like what happened today? And Sebastian's like, he wasn't trying to gloat, but he's like, guys, I was trying to tell you, this kid was trying to flood the school. And they're like, okay, can you tell us what kid? And he points towards the spoiled kid and the spoiled kid was sweating buckets at this point. At this point, he realized that uh, one, he messed up, two, he went way too far and three, he was about to be in big trouble. So sure enough, they go up to the spoiled kid and the teachers are, or the faculty are like, we need you to come with us. The spoiled kid's like, I didn't flood the school. I didn't break any pipes. I didn't do any of it. And uh, they're like, we didn't say any of that. And he's like, um, well, I didn't do it. I was just clarifying I didn't do it. I also didn't um, do a lot of other stuff. I was... I was just being really specific about what I didn't do so you guys would just know all the stuff that I haven't done 
obviously. You guys are crazy. Like, you, you think I'd fled the school? Like, that's, that's insane. And that's when Ben, the kid who saw him in the locker, literally walks up to them and says, oh, yeah, this kid was in the locker room saying that he was hiding because you guys were after him and that he, when he was done hiding, was going to go into the bathroom, break the pipes with a metal rod, and, uh, yeah. And they're like, uh, uh, the spoiled kid's like, this kid's lying too. I don't even know who he is. Like James or uh, Ben is lying. And the teacher's like, didn't you just say you don't know who he is? Why do you call him Ben? He's like, I don't know. That could be his name. Oh my God. Is your name Ben? What a funny coincidence. <laughs> okay. At this point, it was extremely obvious, extremely obvious that it was the spoiled kid. So anyways, more faculty members come over as the fire department comes over, uh, the, the plumbing agency, whatever, comes over. The, every agency comes over, right? It's a whole thing. Parents are told they have to pick up their kids early because, you know, there's a little bit of a situation, a little bit of a situation going on at the school. Yeah, so after a bit of pressure from the faculty members, eventually the spoiled kid ends up confessing. And so uh, Miss Davenport is brought over and she's like, why would you, like, flood the entire school just because I didn't get, like, you were going to win one of the awards? And the spoiled kid is like, I deserve all the awards. Miss Davenport, you know it. And he turns to Sebastian. He's like, even Sebastian agreed. And Sebastian's like, I agreed to no such thing, Miss Davenport. He's like, but you said I did. And he's like, and Sebastian's like, yeah, we had a conversation. You asked. I said yes to be polite. And then I said no later on. Why are you ignoring that part? And the spoiled kid's like, well, you were wrong the second time. I deserve to win all the awards, Miss Davenport. And I was just trying to teach you a lesson. And Miss Davenport's like, teach me a lesson? Spoiled kid, you flooded the entire school. And he points to the school. There's like literally water starting to trickle out of the door, the south exit at this point. It, that meaning it had reached from the north side all the way down to the south side. And he's like, Miss Davenport, I'm sorry, but at least you know better now. And she's like, at least I know better now? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? He's like, I, I don't know. Like, at least you know. And she's like, I don't know. You like... Ms. Davenport is not very happy, as you can't already tell. Uh, yeah, so the spoiled kid's parents are called. They immediately show up, and they're like, oh, sorry, we'll write you a check, whatever you need, because uh, spoiled kid came from a bajillion dollars, obviously. And uh, yeah, so let's just say that school was over two days early for them, and not for the right reasons, though.